the meters will still be eating quarters, only you're going to be getting less time for your precious coin. WPTZ's David Schneider is on the parking beat tonight and live in the newsroom. David. George, one of the biggest complaints we heard from drivers on the street is how many quarters they have to lug around. Now, while they're certainly not thrilled to hear about a possible increase at meters in the downtown core, many of them were interested to hear what the city wants to do with that extra money. Quarter after quarter, drivers coming to downtown Burlington feed the meters. Oh, it gets expensive. And to be honest, sometimes I don't come down shopping. If I don't have change, I can't do it. So I don't like the parking meters. <laughs> and if a proposal goes through, she'll really love them. Burlington wants to raise the meter rates to $1.50 an hour. That would give you 10 minutes for a quarter. I don't know. That seems a little steep to me. You can't win. You know, it just, it's just more money, more money after money. In case you're wondering how Burlington parking stacks up with other places in the Northeast, here's a comparison. You can get 15 minutes for a quarter here. In Boston, you get about 12. Burlington's the same as some of New York City's outer boroughs, like Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens. They'll also give you about 15 minutes for a quarter. Philadelphia is twice as expensive as Burlington is right now. If our new proposal goes through, that would make Burlington more expensive than parking meters in Boston. But one mother who just got a ticket is very interested to hear what the city wants to do with the extra money. One thing is buy new smart meters. We're going to be enabling people to use credit cards at the parking meter. And these smart meters will also be able to take pay by sell in the future when we bring that. Which would mean no more quarters needed. Does that sort of make it feel a little easier to swallow? Yes, I think it does because I've been in other cities where you can use a card. Um, I, how many times do you just, you, you can't believe it, but you do not have any quarters in your wallet and you don't have time to go get change. So I think any way that we can make it, because that's one of the reasons I didn't have quite enough money in there is I used all the quarters I had. So without having to use more quarters, she'd be okay with the increase. And again, this is just in the downtown core. The proposed increase uh, would also go toward an automated lane at the Marketplace Garage. That would take credit cards. Also, the mayor says the city has been putting off garage repairs for years that it says, uh, he says it can no longer afford to delay. He said this would help finance those. Live in the newsroom, David Schneider, WPTZ News Channel 5. All right, David. Well, you may remember we took a very close look at parking problems in the Queen City and the search for solutions back in May. We highlighted some of the hidden parking spaces in downtown. In fact, we drove around looking for them. It was a great assignment. If you want to find out where they are, all you have to do is go to our website, WPTZ.com, and take a look at some of the dozen or so spots in downtown that you might not know about. You're going to find that in the slideshow section.